Welcome to SIFT's challenge lesson number 17. The first part of our lesson is spelling sound relationships. So let's get started. These are our long vowel sounds. So when a vowel is followed by a consonant and then an E at the end, that means the vowel is long. So this is A. Your turn. My turn. A. Good. This is the long E sound. E. Your turn. My turn. E. Your turn. Good. This is our long I sound. I. Your turn. My turn. I. Good. Your turn. Great job. This is long O. O sound. Again. Good. O. This is long U. Long U has two sounds. It says U and U. Sound. U. Sound again. U. Two sounds. Good job. This is the long Y sound that comes at the end of words like try and buy and my. And it says I. I. Your turn. My turn. I. Good. This is sh, like hush. Sh sound. Again. This is E. This comes at the end of words like funny or many. Sound. E. Good. Sound. My turn. E. Your turn. Good. These two letters have two sounds. Th like with or th like the. So, first sound, th, your turn. Good. Second sound, th, your turn. Good. This is ch, ch, like chin or rich. My turn, ch, your turn. My turn, ch, your turn. Good. This is also these three letters say ch together and they come at the end of words. Words like itch, itch. So it's ch. Your turn. Good. Your turn again. Ch. Good. C, when it's followed by an O, says k, k, k. So it's a hard C sound. K, k, k. We're just going to say the C sound. K. Ready? K, your turn. Again. K, good. This is qu, qu, qu. Like what or where or when. My turn. Qu, your turn. My turn. Qu, your turn. Good job. When a C is before the letter A, the C also says k, 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 okay, like cat, right? So we're just going to say k, ready? Go. K, good. Your turn. Again. Good. K. All right. Last one. This C sound is also k, 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 like cup or cut. K, your turn. Your turn again. Good. K. All right. PH. Like phone or elephant. It has the same sound as the letter F, but it's PH. So sound. Sound again. Good. When an E comes after the letter C, the sound changes. It goes from K to 
S. We learned this sound a few lessons ago. S. Okay, ready? Sound. Again. S. Good. This is another s sound, a soft C. S. When an I comes after it, it says S. Ready? S. Again. Good. This also says s when a C is next to the letter Y. When the Y comes after the C, it is s like cycle or bicycle. Ready? Sound? Again? Good. All right, friends. Now we're going to read some words. You'll notice that I've highlighted the E's at the end and the vowels. So you know that when the vowel and the E are highlighted in yellow, that they are long vowels. And that E tells us at the end to make the vowel long. So think. This is our first word. Think. Right here. Read. Joke. Next word underneath. No E, so let's read it. Job. Good. Oh, I see an E at the end, so that means the I is long. Ready? Think. Read. Tide. Try this one. Think. Read. Mule. Let's try this one. Think. Read. Eve. Think. Read. Oh, I don't see an E, so short vowel. Think. Read. Bet. Good. Now over here on this list, these are syllables. So they're not real words. They're just parts of words, but they have the same pattern. There's E's at the end, which means the vowels are long. So this E here is long. So let's think. Read. Leet. Good. Think. Read. Aisle. Good. Long I. There's no E here, so this is a short vowel. Ready? Think. Read, nev, think, read, ache, good, all right. Now we're going to go into our syllable transformations. So I'm going to write a syllable and you're going to read it. I'm going to change the syllable and you're going to read it again. There are three in each set, okay? So we'll try the first one. The first one I want you to read looks like this. Remember, if there's a vowel at the end, it's long. So read, bye. Good. Now I'm going to change it. Now we're going to read this one. There's no vowel at the end. It's short. Ill. Good. Now we're going to make a third syllable here. Read, bill. Good. All right, next, read, um, good. Now we're going to change it, okay, read, short O, fom, good. Now the last one, there's a vowel at the end, so it's not a short sound, it's a long sound now, fo. Good. Next one. Vowel at the end means it's long. Key. Good. I'm going to change it. Now there's no vowel, so it's a short. Now there's no vowel at the end, so it's short. Read. N. Good. Now we're going to make another syllable. Ready? Short E. Ken. Good. Next. There's a consonant, not a vowel, so it's a short U. Ul. Read. Ul. Good. Now I'm going to change it. Vowel on the outside at the end means it's long. Read. Who or hue, we're gonna see this later. Hue, pay attention to that. All right, now I'm gonna add the L back here. 
Ooh, it's a short U again. It's not long anymore because this is not a vowel. Short U. Pull, read. Pull, good. Last one. Read, short A, dap, good. Now I'm gonna change it. Again, it's still short. Ready, app, good. Now I'm gonna change it again. Now the vowel's at the end now, so the vowel goes from short to long. So if it's a long A, it's read, day, good. All right, great job, guys. Let's keep going. All right. Okay, now we're gonna go over some of our syllables, our sight syllables that we've learned. These are new ones, and then we'll go over the ones that we've already uh, that we've already learned recently. Okay. So this one is miss. Read again. Miss. Spell. M. I S read miss like mistake. It's a syllable or a uh, prefix at the beginning of words. This is quent. Read quent spell. Good Q U E N T quent like. Frequent, which means a lot. We know this. We know this suffix. It comes at the end of words. Ing, spell, I N G. Ing, like talking. All right. Next, this is a suffix, it comes at the end of words. Ness, read, ness, spell, n-e-s-s, -S. read, ness, like kindness. This is the syllable co, co, the O is on the outside, so it's long. Read, co, spell, C-O, read, co, like cooperate. This is another uh, part of a word that goes usually in the beginning of a word. It's multi. This part usually goes at the beginning of words, multi. Read, multi, spell. M-U-L-T-I. Read, multi. Like multiply. This is a suffix at the end of some words. It's the last part of a lot of words. Ject, ject. Let's spell J E C T. Ject, like project. All right, this is vent. Read again. Vent, spell. Let's spell V E N T. Read, vent, like invent. This is mem, read, again, spell, m, e, m, read, mem, like memory. This syllable is ob, so short O, ob, read, again, spell, O, B, 
read ob like observe this syllable it's a short u uh 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 ult ult and this is an irregular syllable ult so it's on our list read ult spell u l t read ult like adult all right this is another syllable the e is long in this syllable because it's at the end of a syllable the syllable is re so read re good spell r e read re like repeat all right this syllable is mid mid spell m i d read mid like midnight which means in the middle of the night midnight this syllable is un short u because the u is not at the end it's at the beginning so un un spell u n read un and it means not and it usually comes at the beginning of words like unable or not able all right we are going to start reading by syllable now so we've practiced some of our syllables we're going to try to read some words by syllable so the first word we're going to read here's the first syllable now I see the vowel at the end of the syllable which means it's long so how would we read the syllable tie good now let's try this syllable now I see this I see that er is an irregular that means it says er we know it says er so how would we put this together tie ger try for the whole word tiger good next word is going to be first part short o call whole call good second syllable lek and then the last syllable this is an irregular syllable it is shun collection try for the whole word collection good now if we remember this syllable here t-i-o-n right here is right here it's right there just like er for tiger was right here shun is right here when you see these letters together, T-I-O-N, it says shun. Good, so let's go back. All right, next word. Try that syllable. Sound, traf, good, traf. Next syllable, short I, thick. Try for the whole word. Traffic. Traffic. Good. Next word. First syllable. We recognize this word, right? B. Good. Put that together. We recognize this word too. Side. Try for the whole word. Beside. Good. Or next to is another way to say that. All right. Now, this is a schwa sound. So instead of saying a, this says a. Uh. The syllable says a. Uh. A. Uh. This is another schwa sound. So that means the o here says a uh, instead of o or a. Uh. So a uh, above. A. Uh, Above. Try for the whole word. Above. 
good. All right. First syllable. Well. Oops. Second syllable. We recognize this word. Come. Come. Well. Come. Together. Put it together. Whole word. Welcome. Great job. All right. Now, we are going to read whole words together using the rules we know. All right. So Miss Vanessa has gone ahead and put our VCCV rule down here so we know where to separate the words when we're trying to read them. So for this word here, I see two syllables. We're going to try to read the whole word. Ready? This is the first syllable. In, second syllable, side. Put it together. What's the whole word? Inside. Good. Next word. I separated the word between the two consonants because there are two consonants between the vowels. Let's try it. Ready? Some, mer. Put it together. Summer. Next word, I've put the dot between the two consonants, between the two T's. Ready? Button. Put it together. Button. Let's try this one. I see the U here and the E at the end. So that U tells me it's long. That's long because of the E here. So when you get to this U, it's gonna be it's gonna be y U U U, okay? It's not gonna be uh, it's gonna be U. Ready? Include, include, good. Now, this is a short U sound because it's right here at the beginning and a consonant's right next to it. Let's try for this one, ready? Umbrella, put it together. Umbrella, great job. All right, we are going to do some spelling. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to get your pencil and paper. All right, make sure you're ready with your pencil and paper. The first word we're going to write, number one, I want you to write a number one on your paper like that. The first word we're going to try and write, I'm gonna sound it out with you, and we're going to write it together. The first word is second, second. I was the second person in line. I was the second person, second. So what's the first syllable of second? I hear sec, right? Now for the second part of second, it is a schwa sound. So it is spelled like this, O-N-D. If that's not what you wrote, go ahead and fix it now. Check your work. Second. You do not have to put the dot in the middle. Okay, for number two. Our word is human. Human. Remember, Ms. Vanessa told you to pay attention to that H-U. It was hu, human, human. What do you hear at the beginning? Hue, hue, hue. What are your two sounds? Hue for the first syllable. Hue. Go ahead and write what you hear. Hue. H U. Check your work. Second part of the word. Human. Min, min, min. This is a schwa sound, which means it's a vowel, but it says a different sound. Schwa sounds are a little different. Human. For this one, you're going to spell M-A-N. Human. Human. Yeah, it looks like man. Human. But we say human when we read it. Good. All right. The last word for today is the word plenty. Plenty. Okay, so for the first part of the word, I hear plen, 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 plen. 
I hear four different sounds in there. Plen, plen, right, what you hear. Plen, there's the first part. And then T, T. And when we hear the E sound at the end of a word, we know that's probably a Y, right? E, plenty. So I hear T and then E, which is our Y sound, plenty. Check your work. All right, great job, friends. Great job today. Thank you for joining me for SIPS challenge lesson 17. If you need to pause and rewatch and do some more practice, you can go ahead and go back through. All right. Thanks everybody.